Now, auto blogs in the past have got a bit of a, a bad reputation because they are used in many cases by spammers. What I want to do is just show you some of the uh, possible issues with them and how you can overcome them. Now, you do have to be careful with your auto blogs that they aren't classified as spam sites. If you leave footprints, if you um, yeah make all the sites identical, you use the same template, and they're all just you know full of useless information then they aren't going to do well in the search engines sooner or later the search engines will work out that you've created a load of spam sites and it will delist them all and if that happens and it's your only source of income basically you're screwed you've lost everything and don't think it won't happen it has happened go and search any of the internet marketing forums and you'll hear all sorts of horror stories about how this sort of thing happens I mean several years ago there was what is um, famously known as the Google slap happened this was if you remember um, it was about three or four years ago if you searched for anything in Google all you got was rubbish sites full of adverts and links to other sites there was no useful information Google was basically pointless you know you couldn't find anything good in it and then one morning internet marketers woke up and found that their network of these you know rapidly created sites that being flung up onto the internet had disappeared and people literally and this is 100% serious people went from you know hundred thousand dollars a month or you know ten thousand dollars a month incomes to zero overnight their businesses were destroyed because they're just focused on creating these you know uh, mass generated sites use scrape content and their businesses were ruined so whilst auto blogs are, are good m take steps to make sure they don't get classified as spam sites and also create other sites as well so that it's not your only stream of income it's never a good idea in business to have all your eggs in one basket so you need to take some steps to ensure that they're not classified as spam sites and that's what this video is about so when you're creating your site if you think about your end user think about their needs and you create a site that basically gives them some useful information you're gonna do okay you want to avoid being classified as a spam site because you could get your site delisted from the search engines um, if that happens then you, you would have to um, rework the website put lots of unique content on it and go crawling to the search engine gurus uh, the people that run them and beg them to uh, let your site go back in and that you've changed your ways um, it might be a bit of a struggle but they've got no you know no need to let you back in they can turn around and go no nope, not interested and um, not let you in at all or the absolute worst case scenario and this is one that you've got to hope doesn't happen is you get blacklisted and basically when this happens it means that your domain has become useless and you may as well let it expire there's no point in having a domain it's not going to do well um, it's never going to get ranked again and basically the search engines will just ignore anything linking to that domain so you want to really avoid that fate so what you have to do is ensure that auto blogs still provide valuable information so I know that these are going to be scraped sites and going to be taking content from other sites and rapidly created but you still have to think about providing valuable information if you can do that then obviously that's going to help you a lot what you need to do is you need to mix up uh, a combination of unique content um, PLR content and content scraped from sites like Amazon, Article Directories, Yahoo Answers, etc. etc. So you need to mix them all up um, really to get the best content. Making sure that you've got some unique content on there obviously um, t takes you a step away from the spam site and will help the search engines to realize your site's valuable. Um, my personal preference is to always make sure the home page is unique at the very least um, and that way you know people are going to. Um, see that it's unique content the search engines will see that it's unique content and hopefully you know there's not going to be any issues with the site so if you want to avoid being classed as spam you need to make sure you don't leave a footprint on all of your sites now a footprint is something that is common to all of your sites something that makes it very easy for someone to identify the fact that your site is an auto generated site so um, you know in the old days you'd have software that would create a site and it would say at the top in the meta tag created by this auto auto creation spamming software which of course is dead giveaway so you need to make sure that you don't leave a footprint and part of what we're going to talk about now is how not to leave any footprints so by using some unique content you are avoiding footprints because of course 
uh, one of the footprints of a spam site is that it doesn't have any unique content so just having a little bit of that on your site that instantly takes you a big step away from spam sites so a good bit of unique content will help you one thing you can use is a uniqueifier plugin often you have to buy these and basically these are plugins that fool the search engines into believing that the content on your website is unique uh, the downside of these is of course that the search engine owners are well aware of them and of course are constantly buying the new versions of the uniqueifier plugins themselves um, messing around with them um, and then making sure that their search engines go past them so you have to continually update unique fire plugins you, you know you, you're talking sort of at least once a week and if you've got a thousand sites that's quite a lot of work to update them so um, a unique fire plugin quickly becomes out of date it can be useful but only if it's going to be automatically updated um, but again you can get around that by using some unique content as well so if you make sure that every page, every website has a unique meta tags, uh, keywords and title, now you're going to have to use an all-in-one SEO plugin or platinum SEO plugin for this, but you make sure that you have a unique set of meta tags and keywords, then again that's going to help because a lot of spam sites, they just use the same title on every page, the same meta tags and the same meta keywords. So again that's going to help you remove yourself from being a spam site. You also need to vary the templates and layouts. A lot of people that create spam sites just use the default WordPress template. So every site you know, have different layouts, different templates and so on. Again, you don't spend too long on them because these are rapidly created sites, but you know, vary the different templates. Uh, another th thing that you can do is don't host too many auto blogs on a single hosting account. If you look at sort of seven to ten, maybe slightly more at the tops, then again, that's not going to um, give us give the game away. If Google comes along and and they sort of look at your IP address and they see that there's you know 800 auto blogs on that one IP address and they you know 800 blogs on that one IP address and they all look very similar, that's going to give away a little about the whole it's an auto blog. So you know you can create multiple um, hosting accounts, you know just the one cheap ones, and create you know a number of um, auto blogs on there. You can of course use the same hosting to create a number of your other websites as well. And you want to switch hosting and IP addresses, so you have different hosts. Um, you can buy IP addresses for you know a couple of dollars a month from a lot of places. So you can use different IP addresses, and that's really really going to help you to vary your um, vary the way your sites look you know do sort of up to about 10 per IP address and again your sites are going to look different they're not going to look like they are spam sites so these are some uh, techniques for avoiding being classed as spam now later on towards the end of this video series we're going to talk about how um, some tips for success with auto blogs but I want you to take this into account what we just talked about as we go through creating the auto blogs and you start creating yours you know avoid leaving a footprint don't uh, just use scrape content use some unique content use unique meta tags and keywords vary the templates and don't host too many auto blogs on a single IP address or hosting account and all that is going to help you to step away from spam and it's going to mean that your site isn't going to run the risk of being classed as spam and it will have a much much longer life yeah you know, remember you don't want to create an auto blog um, get it earning and then sort of a week later find that it's been delisted you know you want to build these up so that they have a reasonably long um, shelf life you know and obviously that's going to be much much better for you and for your income so you may want to write some of these techniques down that we just talked about you know these these tips but keep them in mind when you're creating the sites they're very important and they're going to make sure that your auto blogs do much much better than perhaps auto blogs created by other people yes it may take you a few moments uh, minutes longer to do these but you're going to have the benefit of longer living sites and that's ultimately going to create you a much better income